climate change is one of those issues where it, it, it's being used to drive an agenda in many respects. As we are talking about creation and evolution, the media, the public will tell you that the debate over creation and evolution has ceased. Well, we know that that's not true. The media will also tell us that the, creation, the debate over climate change has ceased among scientists. Well, I don't think that's true either. And over the past few decades, tree rings have come to have a significant impact on each one of your lives, primarily in the way that they've con contributed to the climate change debate. So, and so much so that it's going to have a major economic impact on all of your futures if this whole issue of carbon accounting and government-mandated carbon taxes comes into play. So what I want to do today is describe some of the various aspects of tree biology mainly around the areas of my current uh, topics of research, and how that relates to how climate affects tree growth, wood properties, and then try and tie that into help understand what is the underpinning science as tree rings relate to changing climates. Climate change is, like most of these topics, open to hijacking, or the science of it is. Noble cause corruption is a topic that's been talked about in many areas, but uh, Professor Ainsley Kello, head of Tasmania's School of Government, wrote a book, The Virtuous Corruption of Virtual Environmental Science. Noble cause corruption you might think of as the end justifies the means. It's okay to do the wrong thing to get the right result. That all depends on whether the right result is the right result.